guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I do lifestyle and mommy videos. So today's video is going to be my top 12 travel tips to implement while traveling with a baby. So let's jump straight into it. Tip number one is my favorite because I am a sucker for essential oils. So pack lavender essential oils. It's great for calming and relaxing. It also relieves the pressure that you get built up in your ears while traveling. Tip number two, pack a muslin wrap. They're so versatile. You can use it for laying down on the change table when you're changing your baby's nappy. That way you don't have to put them directly on the surface. You can also use it for a breastfeeding cover just so you can have a little bit more privacy. Another great use for muslin wraps is actually using it as a blanket because it gets really cold on a plane. Tip number three, breastfeeding, bottle or dummy. It will save you and your baby's sanity. Breastfeeding is great because when you're taking off and landing you can just stick them on your breast and distract them. Once again it comes back to the pressure pain. Babies don't really know how to relieve it so if you give them a distraction like a dummy bottle of breastfeeding then it can just make a smoother journey for everyone. Tip number four. If your baby is old enough pack toys. Now <laughs> I didn't pack that many and I regret it. I wish I packed more because I noticed my baby got a little bit bored and I would have to constantly entertain him. So pack a few in your carry-on luggage, especially if it's a long flight. Tip number five, purchase your plane ticket in correlation to your baby's sleep pattern. So for example, purchase a night ticket late at night or a morning ticket early in the morning because that's when your baby will have its big long strip of sleep and will most likely sleep through the flight. And a sleepy baby is an easy baby. Tip number six, pack extra rompers, extra onesies and extra zippies because there's nothing worse than being stuck on a plane, your baby's had an accident and you can't change them into anything. Trust me, I know that was me because Silly Tiana forgot to pack stuff on the way home. So that brings us into tip number seven. Organize your bag one week beforehand, write a list, that way you won't forget anything. Organize your day bag by using the Ziploc bags and labeling them. That way you can just pull one Ziploc bag and not have to rummage for your day bag in regards to finding a specific object. Tip number eight. Bring hand sanitizer and antibacterial wipes. That way, if your baby comes in contact with anything, you can just quickly wipe it down. Tip number nine, bring snacks for you and baby. Bring water if you're breastfeeding because you don't want to allow that plane trip to let your milk supply drop. Tip number 10, bring a nursing pillow or a pillow that wraps around your neck. You can just prop it under your arm and it gives a little bit more support. Tip number 11, Board the plane first, if you can. That way it gives you a chance to organize you and your baby before everyone just comes running onto the plane. Tip number 12, get an aisle seat. It will save you. Having a baby, you have to continuously get up, change them, and especially if you have a long flight, there would be nothing worse than having a window seat and squeezing through two random people to try and change your baby's nappy. All right guys, well that's my 12 tips, but I also want to talk about things that I learned while traveling solo as the only adult. I noticed that people give you special treatment at the airport. We were always able to go in through customs first because we had a baby. We were able to get the shortcuts into checked baggage. So it's kind of nice to really just soak that in and appreciate it. However, being such a young mum, people try to step in and parent your baby. We were on our flight home and we were coming out into customs and all that long process stuff and Theo was kind of just overflying. And so he was crying pretty loud and I was trying to field the declaration card out and it was getting slightly stressful. And I noticed that like people were coming up and trying to parent him and like patting him on the back and, and that was not okay. Just remember that it's okay to 
set your boundaries. So another thing that I learned while traveling solo with a baby is you really have to be organized and you have to be flexible. And if plans don't go according to the way you intend them to, that's okay. Cause at the end of the day, you have to do what's best for your baby. Going out at night was definitely difficult. We had to make a lot of our own foods and really used a treat to go out for lunch instead. Food saved the day. They really saved the day when when he was crying. It was so easy just to stick him on. If you don't breastfeed, definitely try and use something like a dummy to distract them in times where you really need to concentrate on other things like organizing boarding tickets or organizing passports. So some of the regrets that I have is not having a travel pram. I'm quite weak, so baby wearing was really hard, but if you can do it, it's very convenient. But a great object to have is definitely those folding travel prams. If you do a lot of traveling, then I highly recommend purchasing one or borrowing one of a friend. I ended up buying a stroller over there, but we couldn't really take it home. Or you could just take your normal pram and put it in the plane. However, I didn't want to damage mine because <laughs> I'm like really anal about like it getting scratches. So I didn't, I didn't take it, but I kind of wish I did. So when we were overseas, I co-slept and I, I've i never been big on co-sleeping because I'm just paranoid that I would roll on him but because he's older I was definitely more relaxed but co-sleeping ruined our routine. It has been so hard to try and get him back into sleeping in the crib. Alright guys, if you found these tips helpful, give a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!